Hey, how are you today? Um, got a few updates here from Australia. Our second biggest airline, Virgin Australia, is um, on the verge of collapse. They're asking for a handout from the government. They're asking for $1.4 billion to keep them afloat because there'll be a lot of jobs um, gone if that airline goes under. And it will have a tremendous impact on um, people's ability to uh, travel uh, once this COVID-19 thing is over. So that's, um, and I think a lot of, most of the other airlines on the planet are probably in exactly the same situation. Um, some news from New South Wales, the Premier Gladys, I can't pronounce her last name, um, she's talking about more restrictions if um, the rate of COVID-19 increases, basically shutting down department stores and um, the hardware chain uh, Bunnings, uh, which supply a lot of like smaller businesses and tradesmen. So it will be a devastating loss in many industries if um, Bunnings were, was to uh, have to be forced to close. Because apparently um, somebody uploaded a photo or something through the internet showing that a lot of customers going to Bunnings who are not practicing social distancing and um, every time a politician sees us they have a knee-jerk reaction and decide to punish everybody. Um, more laws in um, New South Wales. Apparently if you walk down the street now without a valid reason you can be fined $11,000 or six months in prison. So there's a verse in our national anthem that um, says for we are young and free. Well <laughs> that seems to be a lie right now doesn't it? We're definitely not free. And our Premier here in my state, Mark McGowan, is talking about using drones to spy on people to make sure they're doing the right thing. So welcome to Police State Australia. Um, I'm going to call it the day and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow with, um, well, <laughs> some more news. Okay, bye.